This is Celia Superglue from Greece with the most amazing design, very original. Can you tell us about the design, Elias? Yes, yes. hello, Guatemala. This is my, uh, my new plane uh, for 2015. It's called the Giraffe. And um, it was uh, originally started designing uh, about one year ago. They just barely made it for the World Championship. And uh, it's very new. Uh, we just, um, I'm just trimming it uh, this period and changing uh, a little bit of uh, the tail configuration. Well, the whole idea of the design of the plane is um, and try to have as uh, less possible fuselage um, interfering with the slipstream. That's the main idea. And uh, I started um, the um, I started with designing the wings first. Uh, I, uh, they're uh, forward swept uh, in, uh, in contrast with the other uh, planes. Uh, this uh, has some advantages uh, for induced drag. We, mainly have in our uh, flying, uh, the type of flying we have in uh, pilot racing, because we're turning all the time, so induced drag is reduced uh, and, uh, with the forward swept uh, wings uh, because of the flow that uh, goes inwards. Uh, this also helps with the uh, tip stalling tendencies of uh, very thin tips. Um, actually, the uh, uh, forward swept uh, wings do not tip stall uh, at all because the stall starts from, from, from the um, back, uh, the back um, area of the root of the wing. So um, this actually showed up uh, from the first flight. The plane is very stable on slow speed. It will never tip stall. You can turn it hard and it does not tip stall. Um, the, the tricky part is the tail configuration. It uh, started uh, only as a reversed V tail, uh, but uh, later on it uh, showed that it needed some more uh, stability for uh, the takeoff uh, because of the slipstream uh, phenomenon. And uh, I'm trying, uh, still trying a few tail configurations like V uh, tail uh, or uh, standard tail and uh, uh, developing uh, that a little bit more. This, this one uh, I had now uh, actually does not have a true airfoil on the, on the back of the tail. It's just a 3 mil balsa, uh, just sanded and uh, with uh, carbon on top. Uh, this is okay for a framing flight, but well, uh, when you turn it hard, it does not get a very good uh, um, uh, flow around. Mm -hmm. So for now, it's just only for uh, seeing the stability and that kind of thing. So that's why we didn't brace it. And uh, well, that's pretty much about it. And, uh, I think I think designs uh, for FPT planes are, are going to change in the future uh, because if you look a little bit uh, more in, uh, into aerodynamics and uh, the things we we we, um, we are dealing with in uh, pilot racing, I think there are more things we can uh, do about the plane design, much more. So. Yeah, thank you very thank much. Thank you, Elias. And uh, Guatemala is uh, the best. <laughs> <laughs>